Okie dokie. So I think we are now live. Um, just waiting for, here it is, um, to get my computer up and running so I can see your comments and questions. Um, here we go. Hi, Lynette. Alrighty. Um, I'll give my eyeballs on. Just wait there for a few people to hop on. Um, it's just my... Brushes and I'm just sort of putting out some paints. Uh, hi Lois and Debbie and Jody. I'm going to be a bum. My God, I am going to be be bum sores at this rate. I feel like I'm always in my chair. <laughs> You're going to have a sore butt, is what you're trying to say. I'm hearing you. <laughs> I feel like I've done nothing but sit down all day and I should be cutting fabric. Alrighty. So, we are going to... Um, we are going to continue painting around here. So, I hope this uh, camera view gives you a better view. Um, you should be able to see really well if you're not let me know just move that up a bit there we go um hi kathleen all right no did i miss this no amanda we're just on we just got on just pulling my sleeves down because i've got the chills again i know my jumpers oh i think it's outside would you mind grabbing it mum hi chris how you going Alrighty, so this one around here, I'm thinking we do gold. What do you reckon? I reckon gold would be good. So, uh, you all know by now, just watching me do this, that I, I tend to work from the lid if I can. It's very naughty, shouldn't do it. But um, for the amount of fabric that I'm actually, uh, paint, sorry, that I'm actually using, it's quite good. Thanks, Mum. Um... So I'm just chucking my jumper on. So I've stopped and set. Um, no, I was running late. Yeah. Hi, Carol. Hi, Karen. Um, all right. Got me warm jumpy on. I'm going to use my trusty sort of brush that I tend to use, which is it's a bit fluffy now, but um, it's a, like a, a wedge. It's got like a sharp edge on it so I can get in. To those little corners and that um, hopefully this is close enough for you I'm trying to finish my first wall patchwork it's the only way for me to stop spending <laughs> it's hot here with a breeze in Brisbane oh wow okay um, it's actually quite warm here but I'm going um, in and out so I go outside and I get warm and then I come in and I go cold and yeah so anyway so just using the inside of this and slowly placing some paint on little tiny strokes just up to the edge of the stitch um, when you first start doing this type kind of painting less is more you're better off starting with a little bit and working your way down to the thread than you are to do it the other way and put too much on and then trying to rescue it um, because with this paint it's fairly unforgiving um, I do <laughs> thanks Rado. Um, when uh, when if you were to tip this onto your fabric other parts of your fabric it is there forever that is done so I'm thinking a gold and we'll just really give it a nice bling um, 
and you can go over this you know a couple of times and make it really quite shiny uh, there's also a pearlescent like a sparkle that I have in stock um, and that might be another option too um, now you should be able to see that I'm only working on one side currently and I did explain in the last videos that the reason for this is because I can get to that side from this angle to do the other side I'll, I'll end up turning it around this paint is uh, designed for fabric so any kind of fabric you can uh, pretty much paint on t-shirts things like that if you really want to personally I couldn't be bothered <laughs> Um, no, uh, Lois, I haven't. Um, I didn't wash this fabric. It was a pre-printed fabric, so it had already been washed, but I don't normally wash my fabric. I'm lazy, just FYI. So if I, I just tend to, if it's going to go in the wash, it's all going in together, then it's all going to shrink at the same time. <laughs> Um, if it's got anything that looks like it's going to run, um, then I will put in colour catches. Again, lazy factor. So, no, I, I, to answer that the short way, no, I, I don't and I haven't. All right. Now, if you, and I, I will actually go through... Someone was asking me about some uh, panels um, and I have got the, a whole heap coming. Of course, it's coming from the States, probably quicker than the Australian Post at the moment, unless, of course, I leave them where I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> but uh, in saying that, they're not too bad at getting them over here. So hopefully they won't be too far away. But in the meantime, um, once we do a little bit of painting um, today, I'm going to show you another method of getting these designs onto your fabric. Um, also, I probably wouldn't go any smaller than this brush. Um, I mean, you can. Um, but it'll take you 10 times as long to, to fill up the uh, areas. So I think this is looking alright, just looking at the camera, seems to be okay so far. Mum's going to fall asleep in her seat, because she really can't do much without me cutting fabric at the moment. And she won't cut it herself because she doesn't trust herself to do it properly. <laughs> she thinks she might make a mistake and she doesn't want to do it. So I've sat with this um, three times now. Um, I think that's about, oh, about two and a half. Oh, this will be two and a half or two hours or so um, but I have been taking it slow and I do or well, I have been doing a lot of chatting during it so if I was to be doing this you know uh, in my lounge room or on my table on my own you'd probably find that it would maybe take two hours max to paint it depending on you know whether I pre-planned the design colors or not or whether I'm just going by the seat of my pants like I am right now um, so they don't take too long it just depends on how much you procrastinate some of us do and some don't hi Beverly yeah I sent you a message I'll try and give you a call after six I'm sorry every time you call me I'm doing a live <laughs> um, I will get to you I, I do apologize for not being able to answer um, can't quite answer the phone while I'm doing a, a live demo my apologies I know I'm hard to get a hold of um, so I will after this demo I'll give you a call 
and we'll sort out your stuff. But if you're thinking of purchasing any more through the, the week, Beverly, you can always send it to me, you know, later during the week or we can chat later. Don't You don't need to stress. And I can always send the, um, the goods later in the week after you've had a, a bit of a peruse through what I have to offer. All right, that's probably about as close as I will get from this angle. Um, I, just, I asked yesterday, but you missed it. Sewing it first does that stop the paint from bleeding? Judy, this paint doesn't bleed. The paint's too thick, yep, just like Reno said. Way too thick to bleed. This one won't bleed at all. I also have um, in stock a gem paint which will have it's got a pearlescent look to it as well um, and uh, probably a bigger color range um, but um, I don't have a huge amount of colors in stock at the moment but they're a really nice paint as well you just you might need a an, uh, maybe an extra coat with it it's not quite as thick as a jacquard but um, still a very nice paint for fabric again for fabric and thick enough that you don't need to um, preset it with anything so I'm just going to go around this angle and come from this side and I'm doing like little dabs if you've not noticed already I'm sort of dabbing at it not really brushing as such because I don't want to put a big blob on it um I so well funny enough I sewed it first because I was only going to stitch it and then I thought I looked at it after I did it and I went oh I reckon that'll look better with paint on it <laughs> So, um, hence, this is why we're painting. So, um, yeah, it sort of didn't start that way, but as these projects we do, you know, progress, it ended up being that way. Um, so, really, it was an accidental thing. Um, I like having the stitching there personally only because I can actually, it makes me keep in the lines better because it's really right there. You, um, because if you don't have the stitching and you can go over those lines with no, you know, no recourse, you, you will. And then your shapes will change and stuff. So I tend to like to have the stitching there it keeps me honest okay that's one so let's move around and start the next one a little bit of a hair there i'll get that now in a minute See it on my brush. There it is. So I can see that the paint's getting a little bit tacky. So this would be about the time I might dampen the brush um, to wash out the the mucky. Um, gets a bit claggy. And then I'll get my thing and I'll take the majority of that moisture out and start again. Feel good? Yeah. So this is not rocket science stuff. This is just very easy. Anyone could do this stuff. Um, it's all about imagination. There's some amazing artists out there who do all this sort of stuff as well, have been for a long time. Um, and the stuff that they come up with is just brilliant. 
but you always got to start somewhere don't you so why not start on something small I can't paint or draw but could do something like absolutely anyone could do this Chris yeah you don't have to be a raging artist yeah you did make it Michelle I think the humidity would play up with it as well too dry too fast um Lois uh does your mum like to do paint or sew mum sews absolutely used to draw when she was young can draw quite capable of drawing um arty farty um humidity might um you'd probably find you might be adding uh lois uh, a bit more water um you can add water to this it's a water-based product but in saying that the more water you add the runnier it is the higher the chance of bleeding if you are going to do anything like that you might actually um, be better off using like a resist um, and a resist is either a wax or a water based one um, and it just stops the paint from um, flowing past a certain point wherever you put the resist that stops the paint from flowing as long as you put the resist on properly um, so yeah it's um you could actually add a little bit to it um, it wouldn't hurt um, but uh, in saying that you'd have to be very sparingly little bits at a time just to see how it reacts to see how thick it is to trace a picture so what do you mean trace a picture for for this this sort of thing it's because you can't draw it well this was already pre pre printed out this already had the design on it I just had to stitch it no brilliance needed So how's the camera? Is it is it picking up what you want to see? You see really well, or do I need to adjust or bring in closer, maybe? So I trace the design. Okay, so Ty was drying as I was painting. Yeah, okay. Um, oh okay so that's what you mean yeah all right so yeah so this this baby was definitely um already drawn on yeah it, it sometimes paints can um but like i say if they're water-based add a bit more water to it it'll still dry quick it's just um it might just slow it down enough for you to get it on evenly whereabouts are you lois whereabouts do you live must be up north somewhere Okay, great bird's eye view. Good. Alrighty. Um, around the second one almost. Does take a little time. 
I'm going to get mum in a minute to grab some stuff while I'm thinking of it. You know, over there, mum, underneath there's a, those blue templates and that, the big square ones. Do you want to grab them out? You might have to move stuff to get to it, though, because the place is like a bomb's hit it. So if you missed today's live sales, I had live um, live sales. I at four o'clock. Uh, sorry, two o'clock. I had jelly rolls at thirty dollars. I know. North Brisbane, uh, G Bung. Oh yeah, we get a sea breeze. Nice. Okay. Um, thank you. Yeah, just tap him on the chair. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, right. Lovely. So you could definitely do this. You probably got aircon in your house. Most places up, you know, up north do. Um, yes. Uh, so, Mum, in those jelly rolls, can you find uh, JR23? Liz Nolting would like that. So at 30 bucks a jelly roll, um, or a barley pop that is almost half price so I think I put some down on the ground as well mum oh you found it yeah yeah okay Just slowly working around And I haven't had to pour any paint out into anything. And I think that helps too. And uh, Lois, I think if you were to work in the lid, what happens is, um, because it's only a small amount, if it goes a bit claggy, which you can do, um, you can always come back to the bottle, give it another good shake, which I'll show you what I mean in a second. And just putting a second layer on is a bit, a bit um, shallow in its depth. And um, yeah, you can start again with a fresh bit. And I mean, it doesn't matter how many times you do that. That might also help. Anything to get you guys going with some painting. I love painting fabric, as you know. I'm a big, big fan of it. It just opens up a whole new world. So I look at fabric and I go, it doesn't matter that it's a colour. It's a bit like that horse I'm doing. Um, as long as it's close and then I can work with it. And like I said, with that horse, if I decide that, yeah, I can't quite get the colours I want. Thank you. Um, her name is Liz Notting. L I Z. Z double Z N O double T I N G. Thank you, Ma. You gonna write that oh, down? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So, um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, it's there, Mum. There it is. I can't remember what I was saying now. It's gone. Oh, was I saying? I was saying about the jelly rolls, or was I saying about the fabric? I can't remember. Someone will remind me. Oh yeah, that's right, the horse. So if I find that the thread that I've got doesn't give me what I want and I can't get it to do what I want without making a mess, I will paint it. And I mean that. I will actually get the a paint out and it could be acrylic paint. doesn't matter because I'm not washing it. Um, and I will absolutely paint it if I need to, just to get the colour I want, um, to get a texture I want, anything. Uh, Alright, I was working in the lid, but there was a breeze. Okay, yes. Okay, when it gets over your brushes, is your brush, no, it's, um, it's a soft brush. 
so um, it's like a, a fake sable, like a, yeah, it's just a, it's called Reno Art, it's a cheap one. I'm just using a cheap one. Oh, she doesn't have an order anywhere, so just, yeah, with the others, so singles, yep. Um, yeah, the mag magic mushrooms, this is the same sort of thing, but Helen will walk you through step by step, block by block, or piece by piece. So that's now happening in May, if you would have got that email. Um, if you haven't already booked, there's been some cancellations because of the COVID and they just went and sort of did the panic thing. Um, but I think May will be absolutely fine. And um, Helen's looking forward to coming down. She's gonna drive down to see us. And the class is 240 and you can pay a deposit of 120. The dates are on my website, which is uh, www.michellespatchwork.com. And you can go in there and you can book, and you could book in for either one or two of the classes. They're both the same, so you can come with a friend or whatever. Um, I booked the three days, the class goes for three days. You will need a sewing machine. Um, what else? But um, yeah, she supplies the paints and everything. So, but you'll get um, get to meet Helen. Um, very down to earth lady. Um, lots of fun and a bloody good tutor. Oh, I went overboard there. I just got a bit carried away. So if you're wanting to come and see Helen and meet her in person um, and spend three days with her learning and picking her brain uh, that's what you do you book yourself in it's $240 and you just need to find yourself some accommodation if you have a caravan and you want to just stay on the property you can and hook yourself up um, or you could stay in Ballarat. We're about half an hour outside of Ballarat, so that's always an option. And you could just drive in each day. But I think we're gonna try and go to, uh, if I only had a steady hand like I used to. Jody, that's why I don't paint anymore. Are you still having the class in March? Are you still having the class in March? Gidget, what's in March? Remind, oh, the, um, that's a, that's a retreat, is it? What one are you talking about, sweetheart? You have to remind me. You know I get brain fade on a regular basis. Um, just to advise you too, Gidget, I had to take your quilt off um, the machine. It's not finished yet. Um, I'm probably halfway through it. Um, just because I had a lady say I need it in two weeks. So um, just to let you know that I had to take yours off got two quilts to whip through and then I'll be popping it back on to finish. So this is getting claggy now. You can see it's getting a little bit claggy. Oh, retreat. <clears throat> yes, retreat will still be happening in March. Yeah. So giving it a good shake. And you could, um, Lois, you could drop a drop of water in that. And and when I say a drop, I mean a drop. The Mulder Retreat next March. Yep. I'm not worried. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank God for that. <laughs> so if I drop in, like have a wet brush, um, it makes it a little bit runnier. Okay, you can see. I don't know if you can see it very well. See, it gets a little bit of a bubble up. That means it's got more water in it. It's creating a bit of a runny effect. All right. So I'm just going to wipe this brush. Take out that moisture because I don't need the extra moisture. And keep going. But that makes it nice and smooth again. Um, steady hand, Jody. Um, some days are good. Some days not so good. Just depends on the stress levels. Um... I do use the table as a lean-to <laughs> and um, I use anything I can if I need to um, and 
and uh, yeah I just sort of keep one finger there and brush along if you have the proverbial shakes all the time it can be a little bit hard but it's it is doable I've got a friend of mine who has um, fibromyalgia and she constantly has shakes from pain and um, she can paint so um, it can can work sometimes you've just got to work on days that are better than others um, but yeah everyone's a little bit different and I can relate to um, you know having a bad day and not being able to do it or having a bad year um, or you could always get on to Julie 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 Donaghy loves to paint now wouldn't touch the paintbrush forever because I can't paint and I'm hopeless now done uh, a course with um, Helen like I'm serious serious and I've been painting for how long I live up the road <laughs> she does a course with Helen which I love because she's like oh my god I can paint I'm like yeah I know <laughs> she said I didn't think I could do that of course of course you can anyone could do this this is not rocket science I don't do rocket science so even if you think that you you know, you can't do it, give it a go. Because people who think they can't actually surprise themselves and do really, really well. And it's relaxing. So mum this weekend is going to retreat and I'm going to but I'm going to be back and forth doing some classes and stuff like that um, and sales so and because it's only an hour away for me um, to get to there so it's not true but um, so anywho you might have some of the classes this weekend from <laughs> retreat and you might see some live guess what we're doing um, Maggie Johnson is coming, which is wonderful. Get to catch up with her. Um, it's going to be good because I'm looking forward to it. And Mum's making a straight around the bend quilt. And I tell you what, when you do one of these, you'll go straight around the bend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it number three, Mum? Still no. no. Yeah. No. Oh, it's the second one. I think I've made, hey? It's, there's so much cutting and sewing with this quilt, but the results are just phenomenal. A little bit like um, Storm at Sea. So all these straight lines that you're sewing, and then you end up with this, this circular looking um, parts of the quilt. It's really, really quite clever. Um, brilliant pattern. Oh, you forgot to ring. Yes, well, um, probably wouldn't have been worthwhile ringing her early in the day anyway. She probably wouldn't have been able to. Um, might not have been up and about early, depending on her how she pulled up after last night. Alrighty, we're almost there. I'm just going to touch up some of these little bits and edges. You can see some of the edges are a bit ratty. And like I say, you can come back in later. I mean, I can keep touching this up like for hours on end just to get that perfection thing. But I don't think anyone's going to look at me and go, oh my God, I can tell that you spent an extra three hours trying to make that perfect. <laughs> so they're just going to look at it and go, that's nice. <laughs> so um, I don't think it's worth spending another three hours trying to perfect these tiny little bits and pieces. Um, we'll move on to the next bit. And there we go around. Careful not to get the paint on anything. And off we go. And the last one. Okay. 
Celtic looking, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, sometimes I know, I know with me, sometimes it's a lot easier for me to answer a, a message than it is to try and answer a phone call. Um, because you know, like what, like what we're doing right now, if you sent me a message, I might be able to, if I've got that spare second and to, you know, lift my hand up away from what I'm doing, be able to respond. Um, whereas answering a phone, I, prob I definitely can't do. So sometimes uh, that messaging is much easier. It's the day, that's the way we live, hey. So, getting there so mum's cutting her quilt I was saying about that and how many 300 pieces or something isn't it something horrific horrific 300 odd pieces or something oh, at least, yeah. yeah yeah it's horrendous absolutely horrendous but once you've got it cut it comes together like once you actually get sewing um, once you get past these little you know little tiny no, what well, they called nine patches and stuff like that, four well, patches. Scrap. Yeah, because you, yeah, mum's using scraps. It's all going to be scraps. Um, once you get past all that, it's actually really quick. Comes together really, really quick. It's the biggest amount of time with this quilt is all the preparation. It really is. Alrighty. Yeah. Um. So you could do these blocks or blocks like these. You could do them as a quilt as you go, and put them into a into a um, a whole quilt. You could then join them together and do more of these in the borders and things like that. There's no reason why not. Um, you could do nice big long borders and paint them and stitch and paint or paint and stitch whichever way you want to go. Um, so you could absolutely turn these into a quilt. Does not, just because it's small doesn't mean it needs to go into a pillowcase or you know a cushion thing um, or a handbag panel or something like that. So this could definitely go into a quilt. Um, you could do nine of them, which I think would look amazing. And imagine the colours that you'd be able to throw into borders and stuff. Once this is ironed, this is heat set. It is permanent. So, and, you know, you just cold wash. And, um, yeah. It ain't coming off, baby girls. What I hear today, kitty cats. I heard someone call them, someone call someone kitty cats. I'm doing a, a video. Um, I must admit, though, when you're doing this, to actually look at from different angles, so then you'll see the spots you've missed. Can you stop him from coming? Just walking around, is he? Yeah. Did sound like he was going to come in here, though, didn't he? I reckon he, I just heard he's going to have a chat to his missus. Did you hear the same? Yeah. I reckon he's going to come bolting in here. 
and not realise. He came in one night and he's beer in his hand, <laughs> three sheets to the wind, and the girls have just laughed. <laughs> oh, what else do you do? Yeah. It was one of the sales nights. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, so that looks pretty cool. I'm just going to check on the other side. I nearly got paint on it. Oh, I need to check on this side and just touch up around here. Still talking. Oh, he could talk underwater with marbles. He's shocking. Hey? Well, that's true. I don't know, Mum. can be worse. <laughs> Depends who you're talking to. All right. So that gold looks amazeballs. I'm liking it. Now, I'm just going to wash that out. And to make this, because I've got a little bit of gold in there, but I think to make this really, thank you, I realised a bit late and I was watching live. <laughs> um, so someone's just messaged me again. Um, see, I can message and talk and paint. Um, all right, so it's gone a bit cluggy again, but I'll give it a bit of a shake. Um, let's grab this brush and just smooth that little blob out. Chuck it in, oh, chuck it in there. Give it a good shake. So I've got a lot of purple going on here. So I just want to blear up a bit. Did I just get paint on my hand? No. So I'm using, just get my sleeves out of the way, I'm using the end of my brush. All right. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to go two and three. And one and two and three and one in the middle. Just make those other little ones a bit bigger. All right, we need to bring the gold in. They look like little belly buttons, don't they? A little, um, shirt buttons so what you do to one you've got to do to the other those dots take longer to dry so just beware So we'll just add some little dots on. So I'm doing one and then I'm stacking them, one, two, and then I'll stack the next one. So one in the middle, one on the outside, one on the other side. And then I'm coming back in, one in the middle, one in that middle, between those two. 
and then that one there and then I'll just turn it around now do this side one in there then two and then one there in the centre one on either side diamondy shape just helps to bring them together a little bit more sort of looking at it going how do I get them to sort of I don't know communicate I suppose the gold with um, the purple Alright, so I'll get my little thingy here and just wipe that off. Wash out that brush I was using. And I'm going to swap over back to the purple. Quite a bright purple. And get my brush again, the back of it. And I need to figure out what I'm doing before I touch the paint, hey? So one there, one there. And one there, and one there. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, we're just going to go one here, three, four, five, and then smaller. sort of spacing them as evenly as I can. So one in the middle, the bigger one, then one there, joining between, and then one there, that's three, four, and five, and six. I love dots. Turn my phone upside down and it looks great to watch you from behind. Ladies, you should try it. Okay. <laughs> um, there. And I'm just going to stop there. Get that thread out, fabric out. Fab uh, fabric. Fluff out if I can. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, and I touched it. Booger. It's all right. We make it work. One there. One there. Three, four, five, six, one there, two, three, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see what I'm doing off screen, four, realized that you couldn't see me dotting that paint in and so I'm just dot two three four five and six and this one One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. Alright, so I'll just pop that down. Uh, what else? I do have to integrate that little blob there, so I might just go one here. If you can see that where you are, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, I like coloured water. They are designed to bleed together. So what are sun dyes? Oh, okay. Yeah, so sun dyes are a much watery paint. Designed, like for, get that watercolour look. And um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Um, really good to work with. And they also bleach nicely in the sun. Um, one, two, three, four. Six. Quite nice to work with. Two. I have those as well. Four, five, six. Um, can get them in stock, sun dyes. Um, three, four. Nearly there. And one more go. And one, two, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, and last one is number six. All right, so just pop those there. Now, I want to try something just on the outside. Not in that, in this. Um, but I'm going to try it on the outside of the um, fabric over here, where I'm not going to, it's not going to matter. Because I just want to try to see what it looks like um, on the fabric with a, a certain stroke. Um, so I'm going to load up my paintbrush. And I'm hoping you can see this. Push down, uh, or if I do it this way and that way, no, it's not really what I wanted. Um, I wonder if I use this brush. I'll just take the excess out, load up the brush a bit. So just loading it up. Here, there, and here, and twist. Yeah, it's a bit better. Hmm. Might be a bit big though. What I'm wanting. Um. Do 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 do. Trying to think how I do this from what angle. Drop down. A bit like a teardrop. So I'm sort of working back to front, really, working away from myself. that matches the other one there we go so the process of this is 
rid of the hair. Actually, that's fluff. Make sure you got the paintbrush loaded. Sorry, have to go. Enjoyed your painting. by Carol. Enjoy your retreat. Catch you later, uh, Michelle and ladies. Uh, see you, Judy. All right, so drop the paintbrush down and then lift it up. And as you're lifting it up, you slowly twist. Takes a bit of practice. Great way to do leaves and petals. So drop right down and as you lift, twist your paintbrush to get that tail. Sometimes you're lucky enough to get it on first go and other times not so much. <laughs> Alrighty. And like I say, once you do it to one, you've got to do it to all. So drop down. And do a little tail. Drop down and a tail. And uh, one more. Drop down there. Bring it up and twist. Bit nicer that one. Had to be six to get there, but we got there. And twist and bring it down. And nice. Okay, um, so that's those. So next time we come back, I'm going to let them dry. So I've they're a bit damp on the side. I'm just going to smudge them off. All right. You can see it does not come off fabric. All right. So that's it for today. I just wanted to integrate some of the gold into the center. I know it looks busy, but that's the idea of it. Next look, next lot, I should say, will go into the outside. Now, before I go, I'm going to show you some panels. Uh, panels stencils that you can use in the same way on your own fabric um, oops a day is that one goes there oh, nearly knocked Jill Gollins off again okay I'm just gonna pop this down now I have shown you some of these before or some of you have seen them before not these ones these ones are just normal ones oh, good days. hang on <laughs> Okay, so if you've got a piece of black fabric, then that can go on your black fabric. So that is something you can then draw through. Um, any colour fabric, actually. Um, there's a bit of a lag. There we go. You can see it now. All right. So this one's thirty-eight dollars. I just want to get a piece of fabric. Let me grab one and just show you how it works. Um. Oh yeah. Just. Probably, you got a bit of a square? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be fine, yep. Yeah. Alright. Um, well, they're not really material scissors. <laughs> um, what colour is that one? Ah. And I know that this is um, not ironed and all that jazz. Um, Oops, a day's grabbed thread. But I'll just show you. This is a bit pre, um, you know, like I didn't plan on doing this today. But I'll show you. So, I'm just putting some new um, in some new lead or lead that I can see. And you could use um, a water soluble or anything like that. 
Do I just quit? No. I had two white in there. I didn't know that. Look down. Come on. I'm just trying to get the coloured one. There it is. All right. So these ones you could use pounce pad quite easily, very easily. Or you could just draw them on with these pencils. I'm only going to show you of the white with, um, normally I have, this has got white in it, but I don't have black um, fabric in front of me right now. So just showing you how easy it is. There you go. I don't know if you can see that now. All right, then of course there's pounce pad. So pounce pad is different. So if you've got pounce pads, these babies, doing a class on these on Saturday. And then you swipe, swipey, swipey. And then look, then you get the, the drawing on. You can see that. If it's not dark enough, I haven't got enough powder in. So let me turn it over. All right. And swipe, push down and swipe. And you can see where I'm swiping. There you go. That's a bit better. So a bit more powder and it works nicely. So then you've got your lines for your um, mandalas. Um, so these are 38, but you get to use them over and over and over again. Um, so I have this pattern and I have two of those. Um, I will wash this um, because it's not actually mine. So I have two of those. Then I have also this one, again, 38. So that's another nice one. So you can draw your own. And I have one, two, three, four, Five, five of these ones. Okay, so that's that one there. Um, so this one is number, I think it's number 400. Yep, number 400, this one, 400. And this one, showed you first, this one is 599, as in the, that's the number, the code of it. All right, so the code on this one is 400. Then you've got this one, which is, I've got five as well. And this is number 402. And these, these are 16 and a half inch blocks. So that's number 402. Okay, again, 38 bucks. Then we have, and this is, the next one's one of my faves. Um, then you have these. And this one here is number 583, and I have five of these. So I do like that one. I do like them all, but you know, you have favourites. Um, then I have, I think there's only one, two, three of the next one. So if you want any of these, the codes, just reel off the codes. So number 597, so that's it there. Again, 16 and a half inch blocks. And then we have the next one is three, five of them. So there's five of these, and it is number 598. So that's pretty cool, number 598. And Last, I have one of these left, only one, got a bit of a bend in, um, just on the outside edges, just needs to be flattened. This is number 599, and um, 
and they're all 38. Could I get 583? Sure, Deb. Um, absolutely. Yeah, that's one of my faves, that one, Deb. Good choice. So when I package these, um, it will be in a big, like, big piece of cardboard, as flat as I can possibly get it, um, with do not bend written all over it. And um, just so you know, I don't roll them up because it, they're easily, you know, you, you don't want to damage them. Um, so I'm just going to write on a piece of masking tape and pop it down the bottom. It should come off nice and easily. And you want number 599. Sure, Deb. So you've got here, Deb, um, Chillingworth, yep, 583, yep, and number 599, yep, okay, so, yeah, I, I'll just let you know that I um, I do make sure that they are as flat as possible. Sometimes they will be um, um, like overpacked. <laughs> Got so much on there. Um, I'll just write on there, Debbie. Chilling with. Um, oh, they're great. So this is number five ninety nine. Nice job. Um, all right, ladies, I'm hoping you all enjoyed yourself and um, you got to see a little bit more of the painting and how easy the process is. Um, again, I only took, you know, I was tossing up between 99 and 98. So number 98, oh, yeah. To be honest, I like number 99 and there's only one of them here. 98 I've got about five of so you can always get it a bit later can't imagine it's going to sell out overnight okay so um, that's those that's that's how they work you can make your own up if you can't wait for them to come in and you want to start making your own up oh no I've got a couple more of number 99 I didn't realize it did. sorry um, yeah I um, I look forward to seeing you next time We'll see you tomorrow um, and we'll chat then. Bye. They're getting takeaway,